Hi everyone, it's Bartek from Roman Studio. Today we want to give you a short glimpse into our new game, DevLife. It will be launching on Steam Early Access on August 21st. Keep in mind that this is an early version of the game, so everything that you will see today is subject to change. Also, there might be a few bugs here and there. In DevLife, you start your career in the IT industry just before hitting 18. It's up to you to decide what will be the main focus of your character. In the current version of the game, you can choose between two skill trees, websites and mobile apps. In the future, we plan to expand your possibilities and allow you to make video games and desktop applications. In this video, we'll jump a bit later into the game. Our previously created and personalized character is now 19 years old and recently he was able to start his own company. Age is a very important aspect of dev life, because there is no game over after your company goes bankrupt. You play through the whole life of your character, so no matter what will happen, you will still be able to continue playing. The ultimate end will be your death, but let's not think about it right now. You're young, healthy and eager to walk. We will start by finding some commissions that we can fulfill. Thanks to the establishment and upgrades of our company, we can now choose small search criteria to find the most suitable commissions for us. Let's make sure that we will have a good amount of time to finish them, and also that they will only have components that we can do at the moment. Okay, I think that will do. Let's begin the search. Of course it won't be done by itself. We need to assign our character to perform the search. Notice that this action takes energy, represented by the green bar above the workstation. It's important to not overwork yourself and your employees, so keep that in mind. Nice, we were able to find 4 commissions that matched our criteria. Now let's go through them to see which one is the best. Hmm. I think we'll go with the commission from Ironforge. We need to make screen press force handling an advanced gesture within 1 minute and 45 seconds. And we will get $3,910 for that. After accepting the commission, we need to create a project for it. Let's go to the projects creator. Choose all required components and pick some catchy name. How about... Press it. Yes, I think it will be good. In order to start working on this project, we also need to assign our character to one of the components. It will take a while, so let's speed up the game and wait for this project to end. Alright, we were able to create and test all components required for this commission and we even still got some time left. Let's see what our commissioner has to say about this project. Hmm. Looks like our project was not as successful as they hoped for. But we did our part well, so we've got all of the previously agreed payments. As you saw, during Quark on the previous project, our character leveled up. We also have some company upgrade points to spend. But our company bank account is especially high, so let's check on that first. Ah, right, we've accomplished one of the company goals. We've got $27,000 for reaching level 4 of our company. In this panel, we also can see all of our transactions that took place recently. You can also take a loan, but we don't need that right now. You know what? Our personal bank account is not looking as good as our company's, so let's transfer some money to make them more equal. $10,000 should be enough. Okay, now let's go back and spend available upgrade points. We will start with our character skills. As you can see, our character specializes in mobile development and he has skills from both programming and design. Let's continue this path and select speech recognition as our next skill. Before we can use it in projects, our character will need to learn this skill first. But right now, we got other things to do, so let's go to the company upgrades. Here we also have some upgrades unlocked. They are mostly connected to looking for commissions and employees. Right now, I think we should aim bigger, so let's unlock medium commissions. To do that, we also need to buy better negotiation techniques, but fortunately, 
we have two available upgrade points, so we can unlock both upgrades now. Let's think about our next move. Company girls are great for that. As you can see, we have one for hiring additional employee, so let's do that. We will need someone that also specializes in mobile applications, so that's going to be our first search criterion. Our character is quite good at programming and design, but he lacks testing skills, so let's make sure that our future employee has testing stats on a good level. I think that's going to be okay. Let's adjust the search cost and start looking. Alright, we successfully found 4 employees that matched our criteria, so let's go through them to see which one will be the best. Hmm, looks like we didn't really found anyone who specialized in testing, and most of them are quite old so they will go for retirement soon. Next time we need to make sure to use additional search criteria to narrow the search but now, we'll go with what we have. Corey Oldloff is the youngest of found employees, but his expected salary is quite high, so I think we will pass on him. Let's hire the second youngest candidate, Igor Labert. Thanks to that, we fulfilled our goal and got some money and company upgrade points, but we won't be spending them right now. First, let's make sure that our new employee has a workstation to work on. To do that, let's go to the build mode and buy a new desk. Let's also get some flowers to make this space look a bit nicer. Okay, that looks fine. Now, let's see about these company upgrade points. Okay, I think it might be good time to invest in making our own projects, so let's buy Project Breakthrough Upgrade. It will increase the chance of bigger project success by 10%. Although we can make our own projects right now, we don't really have a fan base to do that. So let's go back to our previously found commissions, take the one from Impact Inc and see how quickly we can finish it with two employees. Whoa, that was quick. We've got over a minute of the deadline left. I think we can now take two left commissions and try to do them at the same time. Look, we've got a notification about a new message in our box. Let's see what is it about. Hmm, a company named ORE is making us an offer. They want us to do a medium commission with three components. The payment is quite good, so it will be worth taking. But first, let's finish our two current commissions. We won't be able to work on three projects at once just yet. Okay, two projects finished, so now we can get the requested commission from ORE. But wait, we've got a new message. It's another commission offer. However, let's finish the one from ORE first, because the offer will expire soon.
Oh, we've got an additional reward for this commission. How kind of them. In the meantime, we also got some more commissions from fans, but they will have to wait until the next time. We hope that you like this quick walkthrough of DevLife. There is much more in the game that we cannot wait for you to explore when it releases on August 21st. Thanks to starting in early access, we will be able to get feedback from players and make this game the best possible. We will be also introducing new features and mechanics in future updates to really expand on the life aspect of DevLife. We plan to add character traits and interactive events that will impact the story of your characters. But until that time, we encourage you to follow us on social media, join our Discord for news and updates, and of course, wishlist our game on Steam. That will be all for today, so thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye!